Hello everyone, my name is Alex. Welcome back to 70 Second Vipers. Today I have a special special. We're going to be building modular engines. Now in general, I know that modular engines have been out for a long time, but I haven't got to the chance of doing them yet. So this is going to be my first attempt at doing them and hopefully you guys can learn something out of this. Started. So it's actually quite simple once you understand how to do it. Um, this is the way I have been taught. I have watched some tutorials and this is a pretty good picture of what I have in my mind. Um, at first it looks a little daunting and actually it could be a little daunting, but if once you do it a couple times, I think we can start, you can start to understand this a lot more. Sorry for the very clicky keyboard. I have a new keyboard. So if you hear that, please don't mind it. If it really does get annoying, please comment down and I'll be sure to fix that in the next video. Okay, so we're just gonna first of all we're gonna just put a stand now before we even start I'm just gonna mention I'm in experimental versions and these are in experimental only so there will be some bugs and um, If you just all if you want to try this out for yourself You will need to go to the experimental version of stormworks So how you would do it is you go to man uh, you go to properties right click on stormworks properties betas click and you hit experimental. It's already on experimental for me. Okay, so continuing. We're going to make a simple engine. It's gonna be simple. This is just a really introduction. There will be more tutorials coming out with other stuff such as how to turbocharge an engine, how to um, make bigger engines, and just all that kind of stuff. And we're gonna be doing testing, of course. So this is just gonna be a very basic tutorial. We're gonna make an inline four engine. And I'm just gonna show you guys how. So the first thing we're going to need is a platform. We already have that. I like to prefer to work with that. Actually, it's not that good. I'm going to work like this. So we're going to need a four inline four one by one engine. So all you do is just in the top, just search up engine. Second spelling. There we go. And here everything pops up for the engine. Now there's a lot more things if we go back. If we go down to fluid and mechanics, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, let's go to do, 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 down here. Fluid. All of the stuff. There's such a, for example, air filter, air heat exchanger, intercooler. If when you want to turbo, yes, you can turbo charge in this game. Honestly, it's like Minecraft, but better. Across quite nice. So. Here we have a one by one crankshaft. We're, whoops, I haven't played this game in quite a bit. So here we have a one by one crankshaft. We're going to, what's it called? This circle piece on the top, we're going to make sure that's uh, horizontal, so back and forth. And then we're gonna do the same for here. They're gonna automatically connect, hopefully. And there you go, that's it. That's really it, to be honest, we can, what's it called? Um, shorten this out a bit. Sweet. There's our little four banger. So next we're going to do is put a one by one cylinder on it. A uh, one by one, one by one, one by one. Just the one by one modular cylinder. One, two, three, four. Just gonna have it like that. It's really simple. And then we're going to what's it called? Put a drive on it. So it's going to be a uh, da, 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 I haven't, as I said, modular engine drive one by one for a difference gonna be three by one uh, they can have converters three by five but all that stuff is gonna be way ahead of this video basics here we have three by three five by five so we're just gonna put that down sweet and there you go so we're gonna need a starter probably was already over there so just the modular engine starter I'm gonna plop that over there we're going to need a pump that's going to be fluid pump. I'm going to put that on that side. I'm just You have to make sure that the belt looks like attached. And we're going to need a alternator. Probably can just look for it, but who cares? Alternator. So right now it's looking quite snazzy. It actually might have not been a bad idea to lift it up on a stand. I'm an idiot. I'll cut back to when we get on the stand. Okay guys, and I'm back. So, uh, all I did is just got rid of everything and put it on the stand. I'm gonna have this just for the end of the shaft. So here's our engine. I know it's ugly, please don't mind it. Um, 
it's gonna be like this i know it's gonna be dangling actually you know we're just gonna put that there because yeah there you go i'm gonna put it like that sweet uh let's get rid of that because it got reset it for some reason there we go so it's gonna be just like that perfect so now we've got that we put the fluid or alternator on the top fluid pump on the left and starter on the right they just attach to that thing which connects to the crankshaft that bit where everything connects to is called the modular engine drive now depending on what engine size you put there's a one by one three by three five by five and i believe what's it called you can mix it so like for example if you put like a five by five engine and you for some reason don't have enough room you can put a three by three belt drive but you can't put a one by one because that'd be too small but you can test it around for yourself fine i have as i said i only play like one hour on experimental just to basically understand how it works so once I find out more information, I will be sure to make more videos on this. <laughs> okay, so we got that done. Now we're going to... Let's get a battery. Oh, uh, we're going to get a medium. We're going to get two medium batteries. We're going to go pop, pop, and we'll get four, pop, and pop. Let's quickly connect them because I'm kind of ignorant and... Um, I don't really I kind of forget it, and I'm always complaining. What? What's happening? What's the issue? So yeah, so we're gonna connect to the alternator, and we're gonna connect starter. There we go. Sweet, that's connected. Good. So now we're going to connect some hoses together. So we're going to need a air manifold. Uh, da, 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 da. actually, might not. Let's get rid of this. Uh, a bit a dingly bobbly. Cause I don't want to really. I want to have. Actually, no, that'll work. We'll just put the all. Um, what's it? Fluid pump or alternator? Well, I call it called the alternator. I love calling it the alternator. Sorry if I find anyone. So we're gonna put it like that. Sweet. Um, there we go. So this is the front of the engine, but we're going to. Well, the beautiful thing about this is, all these are connected. So as long as they're like not separated such as like not on a separate bob the, these are all connected so if i put like one uh air intake here it's gonna power the entire thing or one exhaust is gonna count as the entire thing that's the beauty of it so where do we go here so this is our fluid pump so let's get some radiators we're just gonna get a simple radiator what i love about it is they added electric radiators meaning they're more efficient radiator is that not what they're called? Uh, da, 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 da. Yes. Uh, let's get a just a solid three x three radiator. Nothing too much. Nothing too little. Got to keep our engine cool. There we go. And the fan does spin. I was like one of the first things I was wondering. Does the fan spin? If it doesn't, I'll be so depressed. There you go. When it's on, like when the creation spawned in, the fan spins, which is amazing. So sweet, we got that in. So there's our radiator. Let's quickly connect it. You can just use normal piping with this one. That's what I love. That's pretty cool. Let's get just the pipe. So I don't know why I got rid of that inventory. It's like only the most useful thing in this game. There you go. It's probably in my inventory and you guys are probably yelling at me. No, no, Alex, you idiot. Whatever. Be quiet. So uh, we're going to put fluid in. So this is going to be... Um, it's honestly any point you want. So we're going to put go back to the engine. We're going to put a coolant manifold if I can find that. Why is that in the middle? Uh, da, 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 there you go, coolant manifold. So we're gonna put that in to one of the cylinders. Sweet. And sweet. So we're gonna connect that up. Putting that in, and we're just gonna let's put a fluid tank in there. Just rotator, rotator chippies. Sweet. Now, before I forget, like a total nincompoop, we're gonna put that to fresh water. It needs to be fresh water. I'm just gonna name it coolant, even though it's nothing. Just make sure you have it in there. 
put some coolant in. And from this pipe, I have no idea. I'm just gonna. I don't think it matters where it comes from. Just it could be missing and match. It doesn't really like matter if it's coming from here or coming from there. I'm just gonna put it in here. Sweet. And I believe that's our cooling system done. Uh, for easier explanation, I'm going to make color this. I'm not gonna color this because it requires too much work. So there's a cooling system. It looks kind of complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. I just made it too much work. I just made it very complicated. Sweet, yeah, that's our cooling system done. So just to summarize, we put um, a manifold here that goes into one pipe, and then the pipe goes to the radiator, and then the radiator comes from out here, and it's like that. It's actually pretty simple once you think about it. I'll put more information in the description. Sweet, so, yeah, so we got that done. Yeah, we need air. Air is pretty important. So we're gonna put air manifold. For smaller engines, they'll be fine. As I said, I'm gonna go over what's it called, uh, more, what's it called, better ways, or we're gonna build a bigger engine and we're gonna, what's it called? I'm just gonna put an air filter on this pop because I think it looks nice. And plus, you know, you don't wanna dirty up the engine. Sweet, we got an air filter in there. It's like the ugliest looking engine ever. Air filter, cold air intake there. And we're gonna put fuel manifold. We need a fuel manifold, stupid. Uh, not fuel. Uh, yeah, fuel. Right? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna need a engine fuel, fuel manifold. Sweet. We're gonna put that in there. We're gonna divert it quickly out of there. Do, 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 do. And we're gonna put a liquid not liquid um fluid sorry do you tell i'm very professional fluid tank is large not large too big just put a medium there you go that's it uh make sure it's diesel sweet Get put some diesel in there. There's our engine's fuel. We've got our engine's air from the outside. Now, for the last thing, exhaust. We're gonna make this thing have headers. Nah, just kidding. Not really kidding, actually. We're going to make this thing have some headers, baby. Is there exhaust? I'm missing something, probably. As, oh wait, I just took a screenshot because I'm intelligent. There you go, we got some headers going. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, we're gonna get an engine. Uh, da, 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 da. Temp sensor. Make sure you attach her. And here we're gonna put a. I don't know what we're gonna put there. Yeah, this is like the ugliest thing ever. Let's just put supports on here. If you guys like something pretty, eh. there you go. Sweet. There's our fuel tank. Now just add some pizzazz into there. We're gonna paint this orange. Sweet. We're gonna paint the fuel system like an orange color. We're gonna paint the coolant system like a blue color. A very dark blue color. There you go, fluid system. So just so you can guys understand, hopefully, hopefully understand uh, what each thing does, like what uh, the thing does. Got that done. And air, sweet. It's pretty actually simple painting. Now we're gonna put a, ooh, no, wait. Now we're going to put a modular engine clutch. Actually, we can put a flywheel. We put a one by one flywheel. No flywheel. Just gonna put a modular engine. Da, 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 da. Derp. Okie dokie, and we're just gonna have a just a. Pr uh, we're gonna put a pipe here, and we're just gonna have a let's say a small prop. Back here to demonstrate the power coming. 
There we go. And I'm actually going to uh, put, can we put some sort of torque meter? Torque. There we go. Yes, we can. We're going to erase that. Put a T piece. T pipe. Da 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 da. Same thing. Just pipe that. T piece. It was T piece then. Bruh. There we go. A torque meter. Sweet. Our torque meter. So that's pretty much all. Let's just connect all the electrics. Oh, we also will we'll need to add a, a fuel controller. I already got that going, so let me just connect all that good stuff. Apparently nothing else needs to be connected, just that. Apparently that disconnected itself, so we're gonna also put that in. Sweet. Okie dokie, let's get some control sensor stuff going. So we're just gonna really quickly put it on this side. Uh, we're just gonna have really quick. Let's put this in. It's gonna be like that the lever, throttle lever. I'm gonna put. She'll put that in a little more, in, like there. Yeah, something like that. Throttle lever. Throttle lever. <laughs> I think that's the right way, wrong way. This one. Yeah, it is. Derp. Derpity derp derp. There you go, throw all lever. And we're also gonna put one for our clutch. So we need one for the clutch. Now, Mr. N. Jersey has made of something very useful. It's called a engine controller for modular engines. So it is called a. Let me find it. One hour later. Okay, humans, we are back and we found it. Apparently, I had to restart the game. Sweet. Okay, so let's continue. So this is a clutch. Let's just name it clutch really quickly. Sweet. And this is our throttle. It's already named throttle. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna add some dials in here to, you know, give us data, and not data, data, same thing, so this is going to be our RPS, this is going to be our temp, this is going to be our torque meter, and this is going to be our, what should we put this one as, fuel level, let's put that in, so let me quickly, this is going to be our RPS, put that as zero, I'm gonna put that a limit to like, let's say 65, because these engines do rip pretty high. This is gonna be our temp. I'm gonna put that at zero. You don't wanna get above 110 degrees. I mean, that's 110. Sweet. This is gonna be our fuel. Fuel. Zero. And I don't know how much it's supposed to put 100. 1000. Yeah. And this is gonna be our shaft. That's good spelling, Alex. Shaft torque. Torque. There we go. Zero. So let's say five. I don't know what the limits are. I'm just guessing. Sweet. Uh, and let's put a toggle. Mm, yeah, toggle. For the starter. And let's put a toggle for. I oh, know. That's really all we need to do. And. Let us quickly connect everything. Oh, oh yes, and for backlight because honestly, backlights rule. Uh, yeah, let's do our idea. Model derp. And over here, sweet. We name this one backlight, and we're gonna name this one starter. Yeah, starter. Sweet. Let's connect everything to the ZX electricity. Batteries are connected. Alternator is connected. Let's just connect. There we go. That's all connected. Okay, let's get our microcontroller going. 
It's NJ. This basically is thankfully to Mr. N Jersey. All credit to him. This is going to be controlling our field to air ratio. Uh, they have added that to the point where like you have to manually control like the fuel to air mixture. You have like two levers. You have to push the fuel in and more air and more fuel or less fuel if it's running too rich. You know, good. And so that's really cool. I'll do a tutorial on how to do that if you don't have the controller. But if you do, it's really fun. It's really useful. Um, if you just wanted to show stuff and you know, it's pretty cool. Let me quickly get composite because you do need like one composite. Sweet. So let's quickly um, link everything up. So this is going to be toggled is going to be to starter. Uh, throttle is going to be well to uh, air. Value to display is going to shaft torque, or fuel is going to be to here. Already know I'm not going to link up something. Clutch is going to be to here. Uh, RPS as well. Let's pick any cylinder here. And engine temp is there. Sweet. That's all gooch. Let's make sure we got everything that that. that gooch sweet that's all connected perfect now let's quickly get to backlight is going to be these things sweet starters to starter sweet 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 okay sweet <laughs> uh ignition that's going to be say over here Throttle air is going to be our throttle. Throttle fuel is going to be our fuel manifold. Engine clutch is what the engine clutch is at. RPS from engines, pick that. That's what our throttle is. And electric engine, we don't have that. So yes, let's just make sure everything is connected. Uh, what's this lever to that's connected to that? Air, fuel, temp is to there. Sweet, everything is good. Now knowing my fashion, I'm probably going to, what's it called, screw something up. Because, honestly, sweet. Connect this starter. I actually don't think this needs to be. Okay, good. Everything is good. Composite. Let's get electricity. Oh, this is a new electricity. All everything here is connected. Here is connected. Everything good. Okay, good. Now, in theory, if I've done everything, it should work. Oh, also, um, Mr. New Jersey, they have this little bug. It's basically minus four fuel ratio. So it wants to run at 14.1. So if you want to run 14.1, you have to put to like 10.4 or 10.1. So it's like minus four. It's like a little bug in the data. So I'm going to run just a little bit richer, like 9.9. .9. We're going to put the idle throttle down to like 16% because 30% is pretty much full throttle almost. And anyway, it feels like that. That's a diesel. That's a diesel. Good. Let's save it because remember, saving is good. And probably I was going to screw up. So let's see. Oh, shoot. I forgot one thing. You never know what's going to happen. Sweet. Got a fire extinguisher just in case the worst of the best happens. Going to open the doors. And let's hope my creation works. Uh, backlight on. And of course, the time when I don't connect a lever. I thought I could have sworn I connected the throttle levers to that. Hmm. Ah. Ah. I'm 
what we don't call an intelligence. Don't. Okay, V2, round two. It's running! Temperature doesn't work. Clutch also doesn't work. Okay, why doesn't that work? Question mark. Why does my clutch not uh, work? Luckily, engine runs like a charm, pretty much. Ah. Clutch, I don't think, works because it's not con uh, connect <laughs> connected to anything. Because I'm a dildo. Let's try that one more time and hopefully that works. There you go, she idles the charm. Okay, none of that the clutch doesn't work apparently. It's feeling good. You know, I'm thinking maybe we don't need that clutch on the strand jerseys. No clutch. Good. Let's try it one more time. Look, 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 the engine works, you know, just backlight. Oh, sweet. It works now. It's pretty good. Perfect. That's what we wanted. However, I want my thing to have temperature. Why didn't you have temperature? Temperature. It's not working. Am I doing something wrong? It's like... What am I supposed to do? Connect the right way? Yeah, she is. Okay, well, whatever. Temperature. Who needs temperature? I can just look at the temp if I really want. Uh, torque doesn't work. I don't think a lot of things... Or is it because maybe I haven't connected it? Could be why. Just saying. It's connected again. There we go. As I said, I'm pretty much learning a lot too. Let's turn her on. She can idle like a charm. Sweet. Let's uh, turn down the idle just a weeny bit to, let's say, 15%. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. Fuel ratio is good. Everything is getting quite warm, but that's as to say. I hope you see the fan spinning over there. The high RPS really does kill the temp. And as you can also see, what's it called? The uh, hotter the more throttle you go, kind of the less efficient it becomes. So I've learned a bit of this of modular engines. If you're really trying to save fuel and you're really trying to go throttle it down just a little bit, I would build like a bigger engine so you can use like less throttle with. But there you go. Sweet, and we're gonna shut her down. I 
gonna like how what's it called? Uh, I know speed needs to drop down, and we're just gonna. Sweet. And she can idle down really quick. That's one of the nice things about this uh, end jersey controller. You can just, uh, it, you don't have to change the fuel mixture. I'll make another video about like the fuel mixtures you can see. Like you're allowed to do the throttle. Like you can run out 20% and it's running smoothly. That's really cool. And now just imagine what's it called. You can have like two or four or eight and we're gonna make bigger ones. We're gonna make three by three engines, maybe even five by fives. And imagine how much power this thing can make. But this is just a little inline four. You see how compact and small this is? Well, let me place down a just a standard small engine so you can understand what size we're really dealing with. Okay, I have lied. Really bad. <laughs> see, this thing is just a it's actually quite large ways, but bigger. I'll be quiet. Anyway, uh that didn't really prove my point. Well, uh, the small engines are actually quite way smaller. But it comes, really, modular engines come really when you need just a little bit of power or a ton of power. And then here we go, we can run her up again. You don't even need any throttle. There you go, and we'll just engage the clutch. There you go, and she run back up. That's really all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Let's throttle her down. And yes, we will turbocharge charge an engine soon. Actually, me actually the four cylinder is a little too weak to turbocharge. But okay, well that kind of, that pretty much concludes this video. Sorry for it being a pretty long one, but there's just so much to cover in this video. Um, I hope everyone's doing great. I hope everyone's having a great day. I have been sorry that I have we have not been uploading much on the Sunny Second Vipers, but hopefully we will continue up. We will continue. Hopefully we will upload more. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys next time and goodbye. I just love how the center is slowly revving up.